boys and girls. For phonics today, you're going to need your alphabet strip and your big brain. Are you ready? Okay. All right. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you some cards, and I want you to tell me if they are a vowel or a consonant. Okay? You can also do V for vowel and C for consonant if you want to do that. Okay? So the first one is R. Is R a vowel or a consonant? Consonant. Very good. What about O? Let's think about what are those vowels again? A, B, I, O, U. Is it a vowel? It is. Great job. What about P? P is a consonant. Very good. Another way you can do this is if you use your alphabet strip, you'll notice some of the letters are red and some are black. The letters that are red are your vowels. So you can take the letter I'm showing you, look on your alphabet line, and tell me. All right? What about N? N. Do you think N is a vowel or a consonant? Consonant. Very good job. What about I? Look on your alphabet chart. I is red, so then I is a vowel. Great job. G. G is a consonant. Good. It's in black up here. What about H? H is also a consonant. Great job. A. First letter of our alphabet. A. A is a vowel. It's in red. Good job. And is a consonant. Good job, boys and girls. I'm proud of you. Kiss your brains. Now, knowing that we have our alphabet in front of us, how many letters are in that alphabet? 26. And what kind of letters do we have? Vowels and consonants. Very good. Okay. What are those vowels? Do you remember what they are? Let's do it. A, E, I, O, U. I, the glue that holds our words together. Yes, it's very important to remember those vowels. Those vowels are the hardworking ones. Remember them? Yeah. Okay, what's the letter we're learning this week? Do you guys remember what it is? K. And this is Kayo Kangaroo. You ready to sing it with me? K, Kayo Kangaroo. K, K, K. One more time. K, Kayo Kangaroo. Great job. I'm super proud of you. All right. The next thing we're going to talk about is compound words. Now, compound words is when I take two words and I put them together and I make a new word. All right. So that would be two words like lady and bug and putting them together and getting ladybug. Very good. What about airplane? Airplane. Because air is a word by itself. I know what air is, and I know what a plane is. But if I put them together, I can make a new word. So let's think of another one. Mm, dog. House. Dog house. Very good. Um, let's think of another one. Let's think of another one. What about blue bird? Bluebird. Very good. And there's lots of compound words. You will be surprised how many words that you can find that are compound words. Um, you can also take apart a compound word. So I could take a word like airplane. If I give you airplane, can you give me the two words that are in airplane? So I say airplane and you say air plane. You can find those two words and that's really important too. So if you want to practice that game, I'm going to post a video for you. And you can practice taking apart compound words and putting them back together. All right, great job, boys and girls. Um, I want to talk about how to write the letter K really quick because we've been doing that a lot. But it's very important that we do it the correct way. So when we're writing a letter K, we start with a big stick from top to bottom. All right, now we want to pick up our pencil, go to the very middle of our line, and we're going to kick up. And then go back to that same spot and kick back down. That's a capital K. Now a lowercase k is going to be that same big stick from top to bottom. But instead of coming to the middle, you're going to actually come like to the bottom middle. Okay? Let me move this light a little bit so you can see. All right, we're going to come to this bottom middle here. And we're going to do the same thing. Kick up.
then go back to the exact same spot and kick back down. But you'll notice on the lowercase k, the stick is really tall and the kicks are small. But on the capital K, the kicks are just as big. Okay, that's really important too. All right, we learned a new sight word and we've been practicing it, but I want you guys to practice it one more time. Do you remember what it is? It's the sight word, our cute little meerkat. And very good. So when we sing our song, it goes like this. A N D and I can spell and and is the word that I write with my hand. A N D A N D dinky dinky do. That's what I learned at my school. A N D. That's how we spell our word and. And if you could say, I like pizza and ice cream. And is a really important word because we're going to be using it in sentences, okay? Alrighty, guys, I'm very proud of your hard work today. Go find something to do on the choice board and have fun. Wait, before you go, we forgot to blend some words. All right, let's go ahead and try to blend these three words. You ready? Now, remember, Mrs. Taylor likes to put those dots under so that I remember that each letter only gets one sound. So I'm going to put my three dots here. One, two, three. Will you blend this with me? What does our A say? Ah, ah, ah. What does our S say? And what does our K say? <laughs> Ready? Okay, let's drag those sounds together. Ask. We can do it across our body too if you like that better. Ask. Let's go a little faster. Ask. Ask. Good. So now we know that's the word ask. Let's do the next one. I'm going to start by drawing my three circles. And sometimes when I'm dragging my sounds together, I like to actually draw a line. So I'll show you how I do that this time. So what does R say? Er. What does I say? E. What does P say? P. Good. So we have er, e, p. Now sometimes it's hard to hear when you say it yourself. It's easy when Mrs. Taylor says it. You're like, I know that word. But when you say it to yourself, it's kind of hard. So let's drag it together, okay? I'm going to take my marker, and I'm going to say sounds the whole time. I am not going to stop saying any sounds. But I'm going to start with R, and I'm going to say R sound all the way till I get to the I button. Then I say I sound all the way to the P button. Okay, go with me. Rip. 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 Oh, rip. That makes sense. All right, let's do one last one. F says, O says, off, off. G says, good. Now, when we're talking about sounds, I know you want to say, off, 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 good, 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 good. But when we read a word, we only make one sound. So practice saying, not. Okay. All right. So let's do it together. Ah, good. Now we're going to draw that line again, and we're going to say that sound all the way until we get to the next one. Are you ready? Fog. 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 Yeah, very good. I'm so proud of you boys and girls. High five. Good job. All right, now you can go to the choice board and have some